I know I've said it here before, but my grandma had a saying. It was learn from other people's mistakes. You don't live long enough to make them all yourself. And this year has given us a plethora of opportunities to experience mistakes. Most of them were out of our control and were weather driven. But at the end of the day, it's been the culmination of those mistakes this year that have gotten us to where they are and really shaped our growing season. And coming up here in the next few weeks, we're gonna have the opportunity to really talk about the mistakes. And I don't want us to so much focus on the mistakes themselves, but I wanna focus on the part of that of learning from others. Hi, I'm Keith Byerly, Precision Ag Manager at Central Valley Ag, and this is your Precision Focus video that corresponds with my article on the CVA blog site. So, coming up here in two weeks, August 3rd here at Bellwood, August 8th at Cuba, Kansas, and August 10th at our 8120 innovation sites, we're gonna have the opportunity to showcase the innovation sites and what they mean this year. And the thing I really want you to understand is, is these aren't your normal plot tour events. These aren't answer plots, they aren't seed tours, they are truly a learning opportunity for us and an opportunity for us to embrace the challenges that we've had this year. Whether it was fertility, emergence, net effective stand, or herbicide control, many of the things have been shaped by our cool wet May and our hot dry June. And those are the things that we're not gonna shy away from at our innovation sites. When you come to these events in the next couple of weeks, you're gonna get an opportunity to see the same things here that you've seen on your farm throughout the course of the season. But one of the things that we're gonna showcase is not the products themselves, but the why of what we did. The why we were proactive with some of the things we did with technology on our planter. The why of how we put nitrogen on on some of our trials and the why of the farming systems that we put in place to deal with the expected challenges this year that we had. Because at the end of the day, I think we're all a lot more concerned about the what and the why than we are the particulars of the products that we used and how we got to this point in the season. So really, that's what I want you to focus on here at our innovation sites and why I want you to take the time and that half a day out of your schedule to come to the one that's nearest to you because I think you and your FSA are gonna have a unique opportunity here to look at what we've done and understand how we can take that back to our farms and preserve bushels and add yield to our soybeans when it comes to the rest of this growing season, but especially our plans and our preparations for next season. So carve that time out of your schedule, make the trip, and I hope to see you at one of those three innovation sites coming up in two weeks.